Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. I'm doing a little bit of a um, uh, afternoon tea. Well, no, not afternoon, uh, evening, evening tea session. Yes, I have a nice cup of tea here. And I wanted to come on and talk to you guys a little bit and see how you were handling this post full moon energies. Because today was really quite heavy for me. Um, it wasn't bad. It just felt emotionally just very heavy and very burdensome. We had the full moon yesterday on the 10th. Um, no, I'm sorry, on the 9th. Today is the 10th. Um, and it was in Leo. I really didn't feel like it didn't feel like this was affecting me too much. Oh, excellent. I, um, I didn't think it was affecting me too much. And then I got to today and the energy was just really heavy. So what I wanted to do um, is I wanted to come on and get some messages here for us. I have uh, the Oracle of the Unicorns here. I wanted to work with the unicorns for this. And I'm going to do a little, do it a little bit out of nor ordinary. Normally, I pull the tarot first. Um, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the Oracle Guidance from the unicorns first just to get our theme for this energy and for the message that's coming through here. And then we're going to move to the tarot and I'm going to clarify a little bit more. Yeah, pretty intense. It's been pretty intense for me too. And it's just really been intense in the form of just very, very emotionally heavy. You know, just burdensome. And, and, and in ways it's like this, none of this should really be weighing on me. None of this should be, well, you're just getting off work. All right, Jamon. Well, lucky you. Okay. All right. Um, well, I'm glad. And, and it's interesting because I hadn't really been feeling anything up until like just now, maybe like yesterday, today. Um, you ready for change? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, good. Okay. Triggers. Lots of triggers today. Yes. I've been dealing with some pretty intense triggers over all weekend, actually. Um, I was triggered pretty bad. And it was a past trigger. It was a trigger of something that, you know, I've, I thought I thought something that was healed or I was over or something like that. And it, like, it literally hit me like a ton of bricks on Saturday. And then yesterday, and then I went out Saturday night, which was good. And I had a chance to hang out and, you know, be with some friends. But um, yesterday was a good day to like recover and all that. And then today was just like, meh. You know, it was, it was interesting. Lots of shadow work. Yes, lots of, okay, good. So that is, this, that seems to be a central theme, the shadow work that um, this full moon is bringing up. And that's always a good thing, okay? So there will always be growth. There will always be benefit coming from you if you were to, once you, when you really dive into your shadow work, yeah? All right, so let's start getting into some of the message here. Hmm. So I'm going to start with the Oracle of the Unicorns, um, and I'm going to get just the, the central theme for us right now, and then we'll look a little deeper into everything with the Tarot, yeah? So, from the Unicorns, what does this full moon energy have for us here? Now, we already talk, kind of talked about the full moon, um, and I guess when, when we talked about the full moon last week... It was an energy in which the masculine was kind of coming forward or at least starting to recognize some things, starting to be able to, um, wanting to give back in some way. And I guess maybe some of what I was feeling today was a desire to, to really act on that, to do that, to, to give in some sort of way, to give some back some sort of love that they had received. Um, I will say... I will say on a collective level, I was feeling like, you know, separation between, you know, divine counterparts and whatnot. I was feeling that very strongly. I was feeling like that was weighing heavily on a lot of people. And for me personally, that was a situation in which it's like, look, I've been in separation for so long. It's really not even a thing anymore. So I really kind of feel like that was something that maybe the masculine was really kind of hyper aware of, super aware of just the separation between counterparts and whatnot, whatever, and all that good stuff. So, okay, yeah, that was that was actually weighing very heavily on me. And it really took, it took a lot for me to, like, kind of work my way out of that and just come to terms with a lot and come to terms with the fact that, you know, separation is still a thing that's necessary if the healing hasn't happened and blah, blah, blah. 
right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what messages, what oracle guidance the unicorns have for us here in terms of this energy that we're feeling um, post full moon in Leo, yeah. So, hello, hello, welcome. So, okay, what do we have? We have expansion so far. Balance. We'll get one more. And receive. Okay. Underneath the deck is courage. So, overall energy underneath the deck, we have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. All right? And then we also have receive. Uh, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming soon. We have expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and share your, uh, and shine your light. Show the world what you are made of. And finally, we have balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. So set boundaries with your work. And actually, um, the balance card is giving me an energy of self-care. And I'm going to be honest, that's kind of what I did all day. I mean, I had some work that I needed to do and I got that done and that was good. But then when it came down to, you know, the rest of the day and what else I needed to do for the day or whatnot, whatever, and I, I just really felt like I needed to rest and I needed to just work on, main, uh, work on maintaining my emotional balance and my mental balance. And so if you guys are in that kind of energy right now, I would encourage you to rest as much as you possibly can because ultimately that's just going to help you integrate because we do have expansion here, all right? So I definitely feel like we're all really settling into some brand new levels, and mainly levels of awareness. Um, so... Yeah, we're going to need some time to balance and integrate. We I need and we need to really work on being in the receptive mode here. Um you could be getting a lot of downloads. You could be uh, uh ask also I'm I'm getting a feeling of want, needing to ask for help here. Okay? So, um in terms of this expansion that we're going through, um, and the awakening that's happening because of it, you know, you have to really be willing to ask for help, ask for spirit to guide you ask for help in integrating things and in balancing out and all that good stuff um yeah yeah <clears throat> okay i want to start looking at this a little more and i'm going to use the tarot here so let's get a little bit more energy into this, a little more insight. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, something is coming up. There's, there's, with expansion and courage here, because expansion is saying, share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're what you're made of. And then courage says, you know, you are safe. Fear and fear is an illusion. I feel like there is an opportunity that's coming up here that you're getting ready for, that you're getting prepared for. So you're really, um, so you're really needing to listen and receive the guidance that is necessary that is coming forward for you because it's, it's guiding you towards a next step in your journey somehow. All right, so really take the time right now to to stay balanced, to focus on self-care if you need to, to do whatever it is you need to do to really keep yourself grounded and secure so that you can receive some sort of guidance to move in some new direction. I really do, there's, there's like, there's some sort of leap of faith that's coming up for you or maybe coming up for us in some way. You really need to show you have the courage to face whatever it is you're being guided towards. All right, you have you have what it takes, okay? So just believe in yourself there. All right, one last shuffle, and then we'll see what message. All right, so what messages do we have in terms of this full moon here, That this post-full moon energies? We have justice, okay? We have justice here, guys. This is a good thing. Um, justice with the King of Cups so far, yeah, underneath the deck. All right, so the King of Cups is here, and then we have justice here. Um, yeah, so this is actually speaking directly to what I was just picking up on with courage coming out here and, um, expansion, which is, ex which is, uh, which is, um, guiding you to really, uh, show the world what you're made of. 
there is some sort of leap of faith or some sort of move, some sort of power move, I, I want to call it, that you're going to have the opportunity to making when it, uh, in the future. And it has to do with your heart's desire. Moving forward with your heart's desire. Um, hi, honey. How are you, heart and star? Um, moving towards some sort of loving relationship. All right. Let's see. What is this justice here, spirit? I just feel very strongly this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to set something straight, to make a grand offer, to make a grand gesture. To set your heart's desire into motion. That's what I'm hearing also. What is this justice? Now we have temperance. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right, so first, oh wow, the King of Cups is still on the bottom of the deck here, and we have Temperance that has come out with Justice here. So first of all, what I'm getting is this has been a long time coming. There is a union that's starting. There's balance here. Um, it's almost as if the timing is almost right or is just right for something to get off the ground. I just get a very strong feeling with Temperance here that you've been waiting for something for a very long time. You've been waiting to make some sort of move. You've been waiting to come into some sort of balance. I'm hearing with your counterpart, okay? So this could be for counterparts, but it also could be like the masculine and feminine energy within you, something like that. But I did hear, hear specifically with your counterpart. So an opportunity is coming up. I feel like, especially if we're talking counterparts here, if we're talking two different, two, uh, two individuals here, I feel like the two of you are very much on the same page. You may not necessarily know that. It may not be something that you're really discussing with each other, but energetically, that's what I get with temperance here, especially with justice. I feel like both of you are really tempering out. You, you guys are coming onto a very similar page. It's going to allow you to, it's going to allow it, allow for the facilitation of some sort of union, okay? Okay, um, let's see. Let's get a little bit more here. So what is temperance? Right here. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's the queen of freaking cups. <laughs> the queen of cups with the nine of cups. Good lord. And the king of cups is still at the bottom of the deck, you guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So... Wow, this is amazing, you guys. I love how this works out. But you have the Nine of Cups with the Queen of Cups here on Temperance and Justice. And the King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. All right, so counterparts. There you have it, right there. So I guess what I was feeling earlier about, you know, in, in the counterpart situation between the masculine and the feminine, I was feeling the fact that, you know, separation was really a thing. It's really a thing right now for, <laughs> for, the, um, for, the, for the counterparts, for the twins or whatnot. And... You know, we're both feeling each other. We're both wanting to reach out to each other, but both longing for each other in certain ways. However, I do feel like on the masculine side here, it is a little bit stronger. They feel it a little bit more. Underneath this King of Cups is, in fact, the Eight of Wands, the eight of wands and the Star. <laughs> All right, so... Um, the, I mean, there's some sort of communication that's desired. Six of Cups is underneath the Star, Ten of Pentacles. But yeah. So, I mean, there is... Um, there is a little bit of a desire to communicate with each other. That's for sure. I really do feel like the things are, something is about to come in fast. Something really could be coming in fast. Yeah. I mean, let's break it down. Let's, um, so since we're in this, we're on this topic here of the counterparts of the King and the Queen of Cups, let's break it down and look, let's go through, um, let's go through this masculine to feminine. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something a little bit interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the King and the Queen of Cups out right now. And I'm going to use these as signifiers for the King of Cups, for the Queen of Cups. Okay. Let's start, we'll start with the King of Cups here, since he was the one that came out the most so far. Um, and yeah, Enchanted Mystic Oracle. See, that's the thing. It's like, and that's really the energy that I've been in also. Oh, wow. Look at this. Um, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Judgment. So, okay, we have a little bit of energy for the Divine Masculine or the Masculine Counterpart here. 
um, which is something which, all right, so we've got it. So I'm just going to take it. I wasn't even trying to planning on taking it from this place here, but, um, you know what? High priestess. This actually, to be honest, this is, this is speaking a little bit more towards what I was just about to say to your comment, Enchanted Mystic Oracle. Um, I've been into that energy too, where it's like, where it's very much like, I'm ready for love from somewhere. I'm, I mean, from somewhere, not just anywhere, but like, I'm ready for the right kind of love. I'm ready for the love that will, you know, that, that aligns with me and whatnot. And I'm really not even concerned. <laughs> I'm really not even concerned about where it comes from anymore because I've really been today. I've been working on really detaching from all of that energy and, um, detaching from a specific outcome. Okay. So we have, in terms of that, we have the six of pentacles. We have the four of swords. We have the seven of cups. Right. So there's this there's this restful energy. There's this energy of just contemplating. And yeah, there could be a lot of options. There could be a lot of confusion around you. But centralize your focus on the six of pentacles. Centralize your focus on the core values of what you wish to receive in a relationship, because it is, in fact, coming in Knight of pentacles with just with the judgment here. I really do feel like this is calling in that ideal soulmate or that the ideal partner. Okay, and with the high priestess here, you just, you don't really know where it's coming from. You don't really know when it's going to happen, why it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. But you know, as long as you stay in that alignment with it and you detach, okay, that seven of cups is really giving me an energy of detaching from the specific outcome. Yes, let go of a specific outcome and just be ready for the good, real, true love. Exactly, exactly. That's what you need to line yourself up with. That's what you need to be focusing on. Not the individual person, not the timeline, not even a way it should happen, but just aligning with, oh goodness, my nose is itching, y'all. Aligning with that counterpart, that person that will harmonize with you, okay? So I'm going to get back into looking at the two sides of the equation, from the masculine point of view and from the feminine point of view. We're going to start with the masculine in the King of Cups. So I have the King of Cups here, all right? to signify, to symbolize the masculine. And I want to get an oracle card for this to start. All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And let's just see, oh goodness, guys, my nose is itchy. Let's just see what's going on with the masculine. What message do we have from the masculine here? Yes, messages from the masculine here. So what is, what do you have, what do you want to say to us right now? Growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Okay, so masculine, you are really being guided here. Oh, geez, I just dropped half the deck. You're being guided here to really allow yourself to be, to be guided by others. Um, to reach out for help, too. If you need the help, reach out. Um, ooh. Okay, what else do we have here? And possibility. Raise your standards, elevate your expectations, and you have unlimited potential. Okay, so it could be masculine. You know, you're being asked to really step out of your comfort zone right now, for sure. Um, I feel like a lot of you are, might, might be in an energy of playing it small. Um, not trying to shoot too hard or too far or too fast for fear of missing your mark. But... Honestly, I really, I'm not going to lie, masculine. It's like spirit is, is encouraging you to like step your game up to, 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 you know, to set your sights higher. You are capable of way more than you are actually allowing yourself to believe. Um, all right. So with that said, let's look at um, what the tarot guidance for, is for you at this point. Hey, guys. So what messages do we have for the masculine right now? I know originally I said this was from the masculine, but now I'm feeling like this is actually messages for the masculine here. So I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and I want to get a little bit more guidance for you, masculine, in terms of this situation here. So what do we have for the masculine right now? We have the Six of Wands. I mean... Honestly, with the Six of Pentacles, look, Divine Masculine, your energies, the energies for you, there is so much encouragement here for you right now. Between the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, 
all right? They're really, the spirit is really guiding you to like step it up and to, to make some sort of moves and to start giving back, showing that you care, showing that you appreciate. Um, some of you are really kind of holding yourselves back. I'm hearing watering yourselves down, dumbing yourselves down or something like that, thinking that you're not capable of, of, of stepping up and being in this true power, in this true sense of self. But the encouragement is right here. Okay. I heard you can do better and you know that. And that's not, that's not to like, that's not a reprimand. That's not, we're not trying to come down on you for anything like that. It's just a matter of the spirit really is trying to like boost your confidence right now to show you that you really are capable of much more than you think. Okay. You don't have to. You don't have to play it safe. You have the Ace of Wands that just fell out for you. You don't have to play it safe in here, Divine Masculine. I mean, and it's funny because, oh my gosh, look at that. The Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands, though. That's interesting. With the Four of Cups. Wow. Okay, so Divine Masculine, it's like you're going back and forth here trying to figure out what to do. You're not quite sure how to handle it. I mean, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here, but then you also have that with the with the Five of Wands, and now the Four of Cups is underneath the deck. It's like you, re you guys are really in an energy of kind of almost missing out on, a, on an opportunity, and I kind of want to say it's like purposefully missing out on an opportunity because you're not, you're not really sure how to go about it. You don't know what the best move to make is. And it's almost as if you're stubbornly looking at this opportunity that spirit has for you saying, I refuse to do anything about this until I have the perfect or the ideal setup or whatnot, whatever. And that's really just not necessary. Okay. If spirit is guiding you or if your heart is pulling you in a certain direction to make a certain move or to do something, it's, it's happening because it's ready. You're ready for it now. Not necessarily because we're, we're saying to you, okay, well, you need to, you know, get every single duck in a row. It's like, no, if you're really being guided to do something, then just take the opportunity and do it. Follow through with it. Okay. Hmm. All right. I want to get put one last pull here for the masculine. One last closing message for the masculine. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Well, we have a few cards that fell here. We have the tower and the fool. All right. Sudden change is coming. There's, I told you, there's some sort of leap of faith that I'm feeling here. And then finally, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the two of cups. So here you go. Masculine, the, the, the energy for you is to really just take that leap of faith to move forward with what your heart is guiding you to do. Okay. To, to step out of your comfort zone. I mean, your, your oracle guidance here is raised, is possibility and growth. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Possibility. Elevate your standards. You have unlimited potential. Uh, uh, elevate your expectations. Raise your standards. Okay, so maybe, maybe in some cases, masculine, you really need to be um, raising the standards for your own self. Or raising the standards of expectation for you, the outcome in this situation here. Because I really do feel like, you know, with the King and the Queen of Cups that came out in the beginning of the reading here, I really do feel like you guys are really getting onto the same page energetically, whether you consciously realize it or not, okay? Okay. Cool. So now, um, now let's move over to the Feminine. Let's talk to the feminine here and see what we have for you, dear feminine. Don't worry. Don't worry. This It's all going to be okay. This will be up. You'll, you'll be able to watch this for the next 24 hours. And then also, this is going to be on, this is going to make its way to YouTube later on. So don't you worry. You did not miss anything. Yeah. All right. So let's talk to the feminine here. Let's talk to this queen of cups and let's get you some advice. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to reshuffle a little bit. So let's talk to the Queen of Cups here, the feminine. All right, let's, let's see what spirit has for you right now. My nose is so itchy, y'all. I'm about to turn into Rudolph. Ugh. All right, so Queen of Cups. Let's look at this Queen of Cups energy. What messages do we have for the Queen of Cups for the feminine here? What messages do we have? 
for this Queen of Cups. Ooh. Okay, we have Anger. That's interesting. All right. We've got three cards for you, Feminine. Okay, so Feminine, you have the Courage. And Courage came out in the beginning of the reading here. Okay, all right. This is good. Okay, so we have Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. All, honor all of your emotions as sacred. So, Queen of Cups, or Feminine counterpart here. You need, and this is exactly why I, I, I was... I was needing to just take my time and rest today. And I did the work that I needed to do, sure, but I needed to take some time after that to just rest because we're feeling a lot. We're feeling a lot. And what I'm hearing is we're feeling a lot on behalf of the masculine collective. They're feeling it too, but because we're connected to them, we feel it as well, all right? So you really need to take your time and honor your emotions. We're not necessarily saying that all of you are angry. Some of you may still be angry. Um... Some of you may still have some anger, some hurt, some resentment that you're trying to move through. And some of this may have been recently re-triggered for you, all right? But no one here is telling you to push any of those emotions away. So if you really need to just take some time to yourself and deal with your emotions, do whatever it is you need to do for that. I mean, I took a nice, I took an Epsom salt bath today, um, which was nice. I love taking an Epsom salt bath, but towards the end of it, I actually got really sleepy because I had been processing so much emotion and so many ener so many energies throughout the day that by the time I, I got into that bath and I really started to releasing it, really started to release it, I had to, I literally, like, I was falling asleep or I felt like I was about to fall asleep. So when I got out of the bath, I came and I laid down on my bed and I just, I mean, I, I, I think I took like a good two hour nap. <laughs> you know, because I had been releasing so much. All right. So then we also, so please, please, if you feel you need to do that, please take the time to do so. I mean, this makes perfect sense because we are all, we are in this full moon energy and full moon is a great time, is an ideal time to really release a lot of stuff. So I feel like that's really what's happening here. Okay. And then you have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired actions towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. You have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on the way, on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. All right. So, and then you have courage also at the bottom of the deck, which is saying you are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. All right. So here's the thing, feminine, you are really being encouraged right now to take your own leap of faith, to move in the direction that is right for you and to really move in, 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 in a direction that, you know, whatever your heart is calling you towards, um, without fear, without judgment. Okay. All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle, feminines, and then we'll get some tarot guidance here for you. I hope everybody's doing well. If you guys, look, if you guys need any help or anything in terms of, you know, what's going on for your situation, please don't hesitate to hit me up. You can DM me here on Instagram. You can email me at divineconversations2711 at gmail.com, and I would be more than happy to do a private reading for you to help you, you know, if these energies are really heavily weighing on you. Yeah. All right, feminine. Let's see what, what advice or what messages do we have for you from the tarot? The king of wands is the very first card that came out. Oh, wow. Over. Oh shit. Okay. Overall energy is the queen of wands here. All right. So we have the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands, the Devil, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. So, Feminines, you are really being asked to stand your ground. You're really being asked to stand your ground. Here's the thing. First of all, with you stay, remaining in this Queen of Cups energy, in this space of feeling your emotions, being receptive, being unconditionally loving, you are, in fact, attracting a counterpart towards you. You do have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, all right? So the advice or the, the message here is that you are to remain in your receptive energy. You're to remain in your fiery 
nature, your spiritual nature, whatever, it, how, you know, remain in this queen of wands energy, remain in your current vibration, remain in your, uh, in your, in, our, in what's going to help you, um, attract what it is that you want, remain in alignment with what it is that you desire, right? Because you're, you are in fact manifesting this. However, when it comes to the masculine counterpart in the king of wands, the king of swords energy is also a part of the situation for him because he's got to figure out how to do this. Okay. He's, and this king of swords might be a really defensive energy, but ultimately he's trying to figure out the right way to come forward. All right. You do have the high priestess with the nine of wands. Okay. So, um, what this is saying here, Divine Feminine, is that you don't really see this coming, High Priestess. I mean, this is not being revealed to you. It may even be a situation in which you kind of feel cut off or disconnected from the energies. I know I've been feeling that for a few days, um, and it it hasn't really bothered me. Um, it's actually been okay. Like, I... I, I I kind of have been in an energy of wanting to, to kind of be disconnected and not really wanting to think about this as much as I may have been. But I mean, the feelings and the thoughts just kept coming up, but I have felt a slight bit of disconnection, like not necessarily really being as fully connected maybe as I had been a month or so ago, you know what I mean? But ultimately, something is coming through. Um, and it's just kind of hidden underneath the surface. You have the devil here with the knight of swords, the two of cups and the four of pentacles. This is kind of asking you to like to to really defend yourself, really try and keep your your ego at bay. Try and keep the devil at bay. I really am seeing this knight of swords energy charging after the devil in defense of this partnership, this union, two of cups. And with the four of pentacles here. It's like your advice is to stand stand firm, stay steady, stand your ground. Do not let anything stop you. Do not let anything sway you from being in this magnetic energy, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do any full moon rituals either. I don't, actually don't normally do that. But yeah, I felt that draining energy as well. All right. So that's good. Yeah. So, and I know this is easier said than done, guys, but like the universe is in fact aligning you with whatever it is that you are, are hoping for or wishing for. Okay. I mean, you do have miracles here. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Spirit's not going to tell you how or when this is going to happen. You really just have to persevere and keep going. Nine of Wands and the High Priestess, all right? You are, of, in fact, attracting a masculine counterpart. King of Wands, King of Swords. And even look, I mean, you can't really see it here, but the way this is positioned on my table, the King of Wands is looking directly at the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. But in between them is like the King of Swords is an energy of, okay, well, how do I do this? I set my sights clearly. Now, how do I do this? <laughs> all right guys so overall this is a good energy these are good messages um you know just stand firm stand strong do whatever it is you need to really really need to do okay to to stand firm in your belief and really guys it, if you need to rest rest and meditation is ideal ideal right now all right all right kids so i'm actually gonna leave it there I hope this was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to hit me up if you need a look into your own personal situation. And also keep in mind that this is going to be up on YouTube later on. Yeah. But anyway, um, I love you guys. I hope you feel, be feel better. I hope you have a great night. And I'll see you in the morning. I will see you for morning coffee. And if I don't see you for morning coffee, I'll just see you and I'll see ya. Yeah. Take care, guys. Mwah. Bye.